All right, guys, here we go. Episode four, round two, with a car record. It's round two because I ran into an unfortunate setback when I originally was trying to record this. Um, as it were, I wasn't paying very good attention. My friend Jordan had brought me a burger. It was very exciting. And I ended up dying in the middle of a battle. So, here we go again. We're just going to plow right through. If you guys remember, we ran into Dedan for the first time. And access to Alma has been opened. So we're going to Alma, the royal city at the center of zone one. So here we are. And if we were right about Alma, or about Dedan rather, he's the head spirit, and killing him will get rid of the rest of them. I don't have the right to let anyone pass unless they answer some questions later. So the questions are based off of these calendar pages. I'm going to go through them pretty quickly, but all the clues you need are on here. Um, here are two clues right here, I think, or maybe just one. As you see, it says Alexander de Jerusalem, and under it, Salvatore de Orta. So Orta comes after Salvador is the first clue. Um, Roses right there is the next one, the answer to question two. Answer the question either three or four, you count the number of threes here, there's 22 of them. I remember on the next one, Notre Dame came in the sixth, 60 May, you see there. I Please don't comment on my French in this, I don't know any French. And it makes it hard to answer these questions, St. Jonas is. S. Jonas is the next one. Oh, the, the translators are supposed to translate, but you can't translate an image. So, there you go. And then that upside down seven is going to be important afterwards. So let's go answer some questions. Answer the questions. Second came Jerusalem. And third came Orta. The Holy Trinity is made up of roses, as we saw. Notre Dame first appeared on the 6th, as we saw in there. There are 22 threes in June. And Cairo, Kevin, and Jonas are correct. One more question. If you turn March upside down, you'll get that big 8, but you also get the 7 that was written in the 1, 87. That's correct. Correct. Everyone wants to fight me. And the best news is we've got new competences. Run with charge. Cedric and Jane. And he's dead. Kaboom. Kaboom. Oh well. Wow. Uh, Alpha man, you're breaking my balls. I don't know exactly what that did. It might have lowered down my competence points, though. My CP's down. All right, Alpha's level four, awaited embrace. That, I believe, deals poison damage. You, I'm here to see Dedan. Dedan, yes, of course. Cutscene. This should be the last one of the this section, at least. You are here at the Meat Fountains of Alma, the center of the first zone. Here, meat flows freely, continually filling these immense metal pools you see before you. Our work consists of pouring this meat into bottles before the fountains overflow. The meat is then immediately delivered to all the other zones from zone one on. As the first of four elements, it's an important element. Yeah, we'll tell that to plastic, metal, and smoke.
Without meat, people would have nothing to eat. They would die of starvation, one after another. Real cheery bunch, these Elsons. Master Dedan has an office in the center of the fountains, but nobody has ever found it. Generally speaking, Master Dedan seems to only appear when necessary. Well, uh, there. Who are you, anyways? I've come to liberate the world of malignance. Sneeze break. If you guys couldn't guess, not quite over my cold yet. And action. Oh, really? Well then, can you liberate me? And I love this music. Run with courage. A weighted embrace. Oh, I guess that was dealing confidence damage because Alf uh, no longer has confidence. Great. Perhaps it will get better now. It's really depressing every time they talk. All right. Zachary, a good friend. Hello, in good shape. Perhaps you have some spare credits. No, let's see what we can buy. I'm really only interested in equipment that we can wear, so... That should be it for now. Just give us a slight raise in defense. Two points of defense there. And Alpha actually gets a new weapon. So we can't get past those, so we might as well go out to here. Oh, I can't reach it, can we? That's the Pedalo. It's a little duck boat, which we're about to get our own. Let me work. There's a burnt. Let's, uh, let's get him. Oh, crap. If you forgot what the burnt are, or the tibbers. Wide angle, man. Keeps throwing me off. Run the page. There we go. So when we beat these guys, we'll have access to the, the button that calls our little duck boat. Pedalo. There it is. So let's jump on in that. As you walk, you'll see clues to the next puzzle. 1, 4, 2, 9, 38, 4, 2. <sighs> Floaty lizardy meat swimming thingamabobs. What are you? Troquentary. Aquatic ghoul with radiant smile. 100 health. I don't know what that did. Probably caused some sort of status ailment, but it still says I'm pure, so I'm choosing not to worry about it. Go. Adversary is purified. Let's keep going. Well, bam. Good sir. I know you don't want to be burnt, but you're burnt. Lots of battles, lots of battles. This is the tedious part of RPGs. Constant turn based fighting, which. It's. It's got its merits. I like the system for what it is. I don't always like taking forever with my battles like this, but, you know, it's a pretty good format overall. Well, crap. <laughs> At least he put it honestly. All right, here we go. I don't want to be a phantom. Well, tough cookies. So, I don't know if you guys noticed, in the water next to this, where we're going to get our pedalo next, is another one of those block puzzles, like from Zone Zero. The clues that we passed 
are uh, for this puzzle. I don't remember what they are offhand. That or level up. Woo! But I think I remember how to do the puzzle from when I did it last time and almost died. So we'll do one there, one there. Oh no. There. Okay. All right. Nope. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Solved. So on the left, bottom right, middle bottom, I believe, top middle, far right, center, bottom right, Odd job. So there you have it. Now that's solved, but we're going to walk over this way and kill this guy who's no longer productive enough because I saw a chest down there. And if what I'm correct, it's probably worth getting. I mean, it's always good to have objects, but a chest put up all the way out of the way usually has something good in it. So I'm just going to real quick run over and grab that if I can. And the puzzle. Should have opened to Dan's office, so that's where we'll be going next. But if this guy gets out of the way, I get his pedalo. And we're gonna go. Oh, that's just a lovely sound. Oh, gross. Alright. Just a silver flesh. Well, it's never just a silver flesh. Silver flesh is so useful. Look at that, it brought us all the way back here. So that's good. So now we walk in. So I'm gonna go straight through this just so you guys can see. Clearly, this is not right. We talked to the judge. Good day, omnipresent comrade. You'll admire this area, but I bet you're bewildered by the architecture of this place. You should learn to concentrate in order to not be misled. While choosing opportunities, you would better remain and ponder a little before crossing into the trap doors next time, you drunkard. Luckily for us, I already did this and then I died, but basically, I'm pretty sure there is a smart way to go around solving this. Other than getting into a battle, so... Let's find out what these are. Arpagon, four-legged ghoul. Weakness against metal. Um, yeah, there's probably a smart way about solving that puzzle. I did it the trial and error way by going through and saying, oh, this door works. I guess I go through this one. But it's left, up, right, right, down, solves it, I'm pretty sure. And then the left again, you go up, up, and you're in. Joker's been found, Joker's nice. It revives a person. Last time I played, I used the Joker on myself instead of Alpha. And so we both died, so that was great. But let's move forward into, yes, I would like to go through this gate to Dedan's office. There he is. Yo, by the queen's thousand faces. So I've never seen this queen before, but she sounds lovely. Are you crazy? Are you completely retarded? What part of I'm going to kill you don't you understand? I'm here to eliminate you. You're insane. I'm the guardian of Zone 1. It ain't nothing without me. I hope that's not true. What mental disorder got your blind faith to hide even the slightest bit of evidence from yourself? I'm the one who's going to purify the world, and you're the pest that eats away at this land. Prepare yourself. New music. Boss music. You'll taste the pain, you sick spirit. I'm going to cut your face to remove that insufferable smile. So right off the bat... I'm just going to hit him with all the special attacks I've got. 
And if Weighted Embrace doesn't poison him, I'm not going to wait for it to because that other competence, um, Saturated Chain, does way more damage. Oh, crap. Uh, he just got the batter with the Furious status ailment, which makes him automatically just attack, so I can't use specials, but it seems to have run out. I'm going to do my best to keep track of health levels this time, because last time I wasn't very good at that, and that's why I died, so... There we go. I'm doing alright, he's got a whole lot of health, though. I've been dealing about 100 each time to him. You'll know when he's getting close. In most of these games, when the health of the boss is getting low, they start doing different attacks. This guy starts summoning those... There it is. Speech bubble. I'm not entirely sure what it does, but I'd rather not find out. Secondary things like that usually either attack the player or heal the user, and that's not something I want to deal with, so... I'm gonna save first base on Alpha, because Alpha could use some health. With courage. Save first base on yourself. Good choice. Alright, that's the last saturated chain I'm getting out of him. And the last one with Courage, so... We're just switching to regular attacks now. I mean... I can start healing with that, but... And now Alpha's asleep, so that's great. Man, I don't know if I did power leveling in my other game before fighting this guy or what, but I do not remember him lasting this long in combat. Oh, object, luck ticket on Alpha. So Alpha can keep attacking. I'm going to work recovery for a little bit. Alpha's furious. I might want to invest in getting Alpha some CP. There we go. So when Alpha next attacks, when he's next able to attack on his own without being furious, he'll be able to hit with some real attacks. Oh, well, we're both furious now, so I guess I will sit back and enjoy the auto battle until something gives. Okay, we're back to being pure great because I don't have much. This is getting kind of frustrating, actually. Because I'm running out of luck tickets. This guy has got to die soon. All right, we're both pure, so. Look to get yourself. Of course, he's asleep. Come on, Alpha. Come on. Now, if I could really use you being alive right now. Saturate chain. Alright, so start doing some real damage. So we are almost out of luck tickets. We got two left. This guy's still nowhere near dead. So I want to. Use some silver flesh. Get 
some good attacks in. Oh, Jesus. Save for first base, does a little more healing. There we go! That was 3,000 experience. Okay. Cancer card received. Batter's level 6. Furious home run. Alpha level 5. Yes. Okay. That was, again, a little scary. Uh, is this a joke? I lost. Lost. You've been defeated today. I'm guardian of the first zone. This land is now pure. Ugh. And I'm going to choose yes to save on my third slot. Huh. What is that? That started badly. Well, we're back to the nothingness, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um... We got through zone one now, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys liked the video, as always, hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already if you want to see more stuff. Uh, the other episodes are on my channel. There are some buttons at the end here for you to click. And let me know what you think in the comments, as always. I'm Hikaru Kord. Thanks again for joining, and I guess I'll see you next time.